Why did Boeing stop making the 757? Let me explain. The Boeing 757 is one of the most beloved aircraft ever to take to the skies. With its massive engines giving it unrivaled performance and its long range allowing it to fly long and thin routes with ease, it became loved by passengers and pilots alike. But then everything changed. Airlines lost interest, Boeing's order book began to dry up, and they eventually pulled the plug on 757 production in 2004. To determine why, let's go back to February 1982, when the first 757 variant, the Dash 200 model, took to the skies for the first time. Boeing noted that the 757 was up to 80% more fuel efficient than the older 727 jetliners it was designed to replace, but retained the 727's short field capability. Just a few years into its service life, its versatility was improved with ETOPS amendments that allowed the 757 to be operated on long-haul routes over water. Freighter versions became popular too, with companies such as FedEx and DHL operating the type. The Boeing 757 racked up more than 1,000 orders over two decades of production until 2004. What significantly contributed to the killing of 757 production was the rise of the low-cost carrier during the production years, with most budget airlines eyeing up the smaller 737 and Airbus A320 instead, with the likes of Ryanair and EasyJet placing massive orders for smaller, more fuel-efficient planes. Boeing tried to kickstart interest in the 757 and in the 90s stretched the plane, thus creating the Dash 300 variant, which could carry up to 50 more passengers at the expense of about 1,000 kilometers in range. However, only 52 of these were actually sold, with Delta and United making up most of the total orders. Let's take a look back to the 737 program, which started production in the mid-60s, making it a far older design than the 757. The 737 order count is over 15,000 and counting, as well as having been continuously updated, while the 757 received zero upgrades. This is most likely due to the fact that Boeing believed demand for mid-sized aircraft that filled the gap between the smaller 737 and A320 and long-haul wide bodies like the 777 and 787 wasn't high enough to justify the high costs of keeping the project going, especially as orders were dwindling. Other factors may have contributed, such as competition from the Airbus A321 program and that Boeing had just announced the Dreamliner, which would prove to be resource-intensive and would later eat into Boeing's pocket by about $32 billion, and the 2001 terrorist attacks, which reduced air travel demand and caused financial difficulties for many airlines, significantly reducing the desire for new aircraft at the time. So... What do you think? If I've left anything out, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. A huge thank you to YVR Gopher and iTrapper for kindly supplying excellent B-roll. Make sure to subscribe to them for high-quality plane spotting content. Link in the description. If you want to see more like this, then go ahead and subscribe. It would help me out greatly. Thanks for watching.